What's the difference between app router and page router? We are going to be talking more about app router. And here we go. So let's just explain what Next.js is. So for those who don't know much about it, Next.js is a well-known framework. Uh, it's a very popular framework and React, the developers, the, the people who made React suggest using Next.js instead of using the main React library. Um, it, it provides the app router and pages router. So the app router is a client side routing solution that uses a single page application approach, a SBA approach. It handles routing on the client side, allowing for fast page transitions, meaning it allows it to render fast, load fast, and have a seamless user experience. Pages router, uh, sorry, Pages router on the other hand is a server side routing solution that generates a separate HTML page for each route. Allows traditional server side rendered where the server generates the HTML for each page and sends to the client, which may take a little bit longer. But both routing options have their own advantages. And I think, I think right now the crucial one would be app router. Um, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of against the app router solution because uh, my entire application was uh, built using pages router and I was annoyed and I had to switch and I had to go through this whole setup and then I had to change my project uh, back to uh, from JSX to just TypeScript and merge it with TypeScript so I can use other UI libraries that are more advanced and easy to implement and integrate. Anyways, <clears throat> so the app router. So features of the app router, like I said, allows for quick routing, uh, much better than using React Router DOM. So obviously Next.js comes along with this, so I would recommend it. Functionality, uh, like I said, it supports both client-side and server-side rendering, but obviously uh, when you start to use the cl uh, client-side, it's kind of like PHP, but at the top of the file, you have to say use client, and basically it's going to say, okay, yeah, this file is actually a client component, and so render it on the page, yeah? And so obviously the pages router, you can have dynamic routing. Uh, so dynamic routing with pages router, you can create dy dynamic routes and the pages directory ID. So this can be the users and users, whatever the case is, right? And then you got the pages router, server side rendering, improving SEO and load times, uh, supports API routes, custom routing as well. Like I said, the key differences is uh, the app router handles routing on a single page application level and it supports nested routes and dynamic routing and a clean file structure more clean file structure than the pages router in my opinion of working with app router and being kind of biased against it uh, pages router handles routing at the page level and obviously server side rendering and uh, provides a straightforward uh, approach to routing as well at the end of the day app router versus page router I would always go with the popular and updated version and, you know, don't be like me where I was like kind of against things, you know, just go with the flow because uh, at the end of the day, you know, there's going to be flaws and errors and you have to follow the updates and change it so that your application is secure and doesn't crash and all those things and it's clean and seamless user experience, right? So here's actually one of the most popular apps which are uh, written in uh or actually built with Next.js. So these websites uh, and web applications here are built using Next.js, uh, their main websites. So Hulu, um, InVision, I don't know what that is. Magic Leap, I don't know what that is. Docker uses that. Netflix, Uber, Twitch, and Starbucks, surprisingly. Um, there's a lot of uh, websites out there, web platforms, which uh, have Next.js integrated. Um, I think Hulu is actually on Next.js version uh, 13 I think I'm not entirely sure um, so this is like a basic demonstration of what the app router looks like so you've got your layout component and then you've got a folder so when you create a folder that becomes a directory so you got dashboard and then you can also have another layout of what that dashboard looks like the dashboard layout right 
and then you can go okay your yeah, settings and then the page of the settings is within this component here so you've got links here so once they go to that that layout renders and then it's like the settings page shows there and then page is the whole page of the application right here we go so here are some things which are not routable so you can actually have your components folder within your app router i mean within your app directory right or outside of in the root uh, directory but either way it doesn't matter your components can be within your app uh, folder but these are things which are not routable so when you name a component the folder components it's not a routable thing um, because it's component based same as your lib right and uh, but this is routable your dashboard and any other name that goes along with it like api routes and all that type of stuff and that's it thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next